Hey everybody, this is Josh Placer from GameWisdom.com, home to another play of the Binding of Isaac After Birth. Let's see what our daily challenge is. Ooh, we're going to be doing the loss. This should be a fun one. And by fun I mean, this will either be over in like a minute, or we'll go all the way to the end. Let's see what happens. Fortunately, I have my Holy Mantle, so that gives me some leeway here. And he starts with, I forget what die that is, but I don't know how you get that normally. I haven't done that yet in my regular play, even though I have beaten everything with the loss. Boss Rush, Greed Mode, Mega Saiyan, the whole shebang. Obviously as a loss, I only take two hits per room, and I will not be able to pick up any health items whatsoever. Uh, what is that? Uh, the guillotine? Uh, I don't think I really want that. I know some people like it, but it just really screws with my sense of aiming. I think it gets me killed more often than not. Mm, Anarchist cookbook. Alright, let's see if we can reroll. Oh! Not bad item. Increases your damage per room for every enemy that you kill. It can be really useful in fights like the Hush, or ones where you fight a boss who spawns enemies. Such as Widow over here. Oh! Let's not get hit by that. This is actually one of like, the worst first bosses to fight here. And as you can see, I am getting angrier and angrier. And it is affecting my damage output. Now I'm super pissed. Uh oh. Oh boy. Let's not do anything embarrassing just yet. Coat hanger? Well, not horrible. We are going to Mom, so there's not going to be a super long one. But you never know. How things are going to go with the loss. Uh, well, let's see, if we get small rock, that'll be great. I guess bomb isn't too bad, bomb for a bomb. Cannot do sacrifice rooms. I won't open that treasure chest, but ideally I would like one more key first. Again, this is another good room to have that bloody lust, as I'm going to get stronger and stronger. The best part is I can hang out right here and not have to worry too much about enemies. But we need to go quick as every second we waste is going to add up to our time penalty. But yeah, this should make fights like Mom, um, other boss spawners, stuff like that a lot easier. Right. Am I missing? Yeah, I'm missing one enemy. The die rerolls every item that I have. Which can either make like really, really good, or it can screw us amazing. Come on. Get angry, loss. Get angry. Come on, give me a key. Keep getting used to the increased damage, and then it goes back to normal when we leave the room. Thank you. Alright, we do need a lot more attack damage, though. Well, thank you. It's nice when the game hears me and decides to give me what I want. Fate reward. A really great item, I actually misplayed there. I should not pick that up because it does not do anything for me. It does take away some of my score for picking up an additional item, so that was a bit of a mistake on my part. I'm too used to picking up all the good stuff though, that's my problem. Two bombs. Uh, and let's not check for a secret room. Little horn. I would like to get something that will shrink me. Make myself harder to hit. Either one makes you smaller or a caffeine pill. And nice that my anger is being built thanks to killing his little whatever they're all ink balls. Mm, 
sweet. I can't take the health, but I'll gladly take the damage. Now here's the other good thing about loss. I can take all these deals with the devil and they will not affect me whatsoever. In terms of my health, that is. So, not bad. Yes, it's going to hurt our score, but then again, we're playing the loss. So, getting far with him is a miracle in of itself. Since I have Holy Mantle, I can go in here. If we can become Guppy, that would be really great. That's not Guppy. I don't want to do any unnecessary fighting, because again, we only have two hits per room. Very easy for him to get a lucky hit, and then a second one, and then it's game over. I'm glad I got Ryan Baby. He's one of the, my favorite babies to get due to his damage from those flies. Come on. Get pissed off. Come on. Now we do get points for every room we explore. So you have to take the good with the bad there. Again, another great room for having Ron Baby and Bloody Lust. Another dream item to get would be... Actually, I'm going to pause for a second. Another dream item to get would be Nine Lives. Essentially gives you nine extra chances to play as the loss. Now back to the game. Dark Bum takes hearts. Could give us random things. Mm, I, I'm gonna risk it. We can't use him for the soul hearts, unfortunately. But maybe he'll give us a chest or something useful. Okay, he's being stingy. Oop. Let's not blow up a TNT barrel right next to us. If we do good enough, we may attempt boss rush, which if we can beat that as the loss, would be very amazing for our score. Okay, Nightlight slows enemies down. Could be useful. Lock up. Can't say no to that. We are on the cusp of being really amazing. We got some decent damage upgrades. We're just missing more defense. I would really like infamy or some fly, stuff like that. I'm not gonna take the nightlight. I don't think it's gonna help us that much. First thing, let's deal with these fires, because I do not want to accidentally run into them like an idiot. Okay, one down. Unfortunately, if he gives us a horse head, it's not going to be useful for us. The dash would be helpful, but I don't think it's worth picking it up just for that. What do you got for us? A little fly? Or a spider? Yeah, I'm just going to go. I would like to get Krampus... Book of Shadows would be really nice as well. No. Let's get going. Oh, everything is right next to us. Let's see if I learn not to dodge into those damn bullets. There we go. I'm learning, it just takes me a little longer. Okay, we'll go to the curse room, maybe get something useful. Nope. There's nine lives when you really want it. Unicorn Stump, or Unicorn uh, Horn. I'm gonna take this. Gives me, of course, some temporary invincibility. Could be the difference in a very bad situation there. We'll take the left hand. Gives us a greater chance of getting curse items. Becoming Guppy would be amazing. Getting nine lives would really help out a lot for the loss. I know we have Guppy's Collar already. There we go, we're getting angry. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna let my curiosity. Doesn't help us. And... Okay. Nice, tears up. 
Fortunately, the soul hearts can't help us here. And our damage is getting pretty nice even before we use the upgrade from Bloody Lust. Oh, another one of these rooms. Oh, that was really close on my part. There's our shop again. We will go in there. At this point, we got luck up, we got tears up. I think that's all the ones I really want. It's risky to look for the one that makes you smaller, because I'm afraid I may get the one that makes you bigger. And that could doom us as the loss. Unless we get PhD. Fortune. I'll take it, why not? So we need those that extra key I bought. Ah, uh, fine. Well, that was surprising. <laughs> I saw that pill at the shop, so that's why I decided to get it, because it was good. I'll get the second one. One small rock. Really? I'll take more tears up. Gertie. Okay, this looks like it's the non bullet spitter one. And again, fighting these balls that spawns enemies is really great when you have bloody lust to bag yourself up. Very easy. Health doesn't work for us at all. I should have let him pick that up actually, but I wasn't really thinking. It doesn't help. Plus. Is that more tears up? <laughs> nice. Oh, this should be an interesting play. Nothing. Too bad we don't have like penetrating shot against these guys. No, oh, there's a Mark Rock over here. Maybe, just maybe, he'll give us something useful. Nope. This is another room where it's nice to be able to fly. Let Ron Baby do his thing. <laughs> and again, we're just getting angrier and angrier. <laughs> Alright, what's the bet that the treasure room will have anything useful this time? Let's see. Uh, what is that, attack fly? Smart fly. Eh, nah, not a good item to get here. Come on, give me nine lives. I want... We're really finding a lot of small rocks. I'm sorry, Mark Rocks. More useless items, unfortunately. Found the treasure room. We haven't found the shop yet, right? We are on path or on track to doing boss rush, which is obviously very risky as the hush. But considering that he's one of the hardest characters to play with, it will really help our score to do that. Oh, do I dare? Uh it's gonna pain me by the will risk it. Or not. Oh, I don't know if you hear my fire alarm going off. One second, let me close that door. <laughs> there we go. I don't know if you can still hear it. I can. <laughs> okay, easy room. 
At this point, I'm just trying to pad our score a little bit, since we have the time. And to find the shop, since we have tons and tons of keys. I would just like some more defense. That would be really helpful right now. Chaos? I don't think so. I don't really need chaos in our lives when we're dealing with the loss. Okay. And another quick room here. There we go. Alright, floor is clear. I'm just wondering if I'm getting score by picking up the soul hearts. Let's see. And I get a big three points. Okay, boss. Oh boy. Not the guy I want to be fighting right now is the loss. But, because he's spawning all these little guys, it does make it very... Oh, thank you for that one rock there, taking all the damage for us. He is increasing our damage to its peak now. Come on, get him down. Stop dancing, you damn piece of, you know, whatever he is. <laughs> there we go. Jesus shoes, great item to get. And we were all right here. Might as well pick up the two, two soul hearts for the big three points. Now I'm going to pick up the book, obviously, as it will affect our score. Let's get going. Final floor, we have how long? Five minutes to get to mob. We should be able to do that. Mm, let's not do another arena fight. This is surprisingly a decent run as the loss, even though we are going to end at mom. We got pretty good upgrades, only a few health ups. Oh. Okay, I see another more rock. And even without Bloody Lust activating, we're doing some pretty good damage. Thanks to the all those tear up pills I took. And again, the wonders of flight here. Four minutes. Get angry, lost. Get angry. Lucky poop. I think I'm going to keep the left hand. Uh, the off chance that we do get a guppy item. That's not a guppy item. Ooh. You always gotta be very cautious playing as a loss. Two hits can go by really fast. Oh. That's why enemies like this can be very dangerous to your health. Prayer card doesn't help us. Doesn't help us. Mmm. Nah. Leech? Eh, he does damage, so I think I'll just take him. I'm surprised we have not had a greed fight. Of course, now we get the uh, skeleton key there. Come on. We do have to get going. Good. We're here already. Okay. 
mom should not be that difficult. But it depends on the form that we get. Alright, two minutes. We are- oh, we're fighting Red Mom. Which means that she's gonna constantly be stomping down. And possibly shooting tears out of her eyes. Do have to be careful. It's very easy for those tears to hit you if you're not watching. Like that. Close one there. Just keep moving. Okay. We definitely got this in time for boss, I believe. If the game weaving let us do it, I'm not actually sure. Come on. Alright, we do have boss rush. Sin up doesn't help us. Alright, here we go. Now it's time for the real tests. Wow, no good items either. Okay. Now, because, again, we have Bloody Lust, as the waves go on, it's going to become easier and easier to kill these guys, thanks to the damage increase. But we do need to survive long enough for that to happen. And any boss like the Bloat, uh, Blot, stuff like that, could be the end for us. But if we do this, again, the reward is going to be a very high score for our daily. Ooh, get away from me, you. Ooh, God, I thought you got the brimstone off. Range, don't film it now. Where are you? Okay, you little guys, it's gonna be too bad. You can see we got the damage going pretty nice. <laughs> got a little scary there. Just get angry, loss. Oh, and he decided to land on some spikes. <laughs> Sucks to be him. I am a little nervous, so we do not have any defensive items. No flies to block for us. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, Jesus juice. Give me that range. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh! Uh oh. This could be it, boys and girls. What? How did he land on me? Oh, wow. We're still going. Guppy's collar just pulled a mulligan for us. Well, we can't do boss rush, but we'll still get a successful loss play. Wow. I'm kind of surprised our score wasn't higher. I assume everyone got to boss rush and beat it. Hmm, that's actually... I'm actually surprised. Either people are getting a lot better at this game, or they may have found some better items. Weird. I don't know why our score is showing Saturday the 2nd when I'm recording this on December 31st. There must be a time loop going on or something. Anyway, that's going to do for this play. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. It will help me out a lot. And check out Game-Wisdom.com for posts and podcasts relating to game design and the industry. As well as our ongoing Patreon campaign to secure some much-needed monthly funding. Find me on Patreon under Game Wisdom, and any donations would be greatly appreciated. And lastly, be sure to check out the Twitch stream. That's GW Bicer most nights at 10 Eastern to watch plays live. 
Thanks again. Have a happy new year for those of you watching this on the same day. And pay no attention to that if you're watching this recorded. Take care, everybody.